I'd like to do, introduce you today to our new Rhino 5600 machine. And the configuration that we have currently on the floor here is a 32-foot stock length auto loader with the fab system and saw and a 24-foot outfit feed system with just roller tables. We're only showing an 8-foot table because of space constraints in our building. But at the customer, it would be 24-foot outfit. And the automatic loader, you can load 10 stock lengths on there while the machine is fabbing. And then it automatically loads it onto the back fence and pushes it into the machine and comes out the other end. Um, here's our smart fab machine, which has six axes. There's a drill axis on top, on the, on the bottom and the front. And then it moves it forward to the saw blade and cuts the part off, create a label, and then the part is ready for assembly. So I'm going to show you now the process of taking that USB stick that Matt, Mike created, and we're going to run some storefront and then some wall. I'll come in here to merge data, merge cut list. Select the storefront shop that he created. To the bottom of cutting, I'm going to say start cutting. Now it shows me all the parts that we're going to be cutting. The, uh, the thing I was going to show you too is <clears throat> the operator has a, a fab report that you saw on my computer that usually goes with the, with the instructions on the floor for cutting and it will show all the, the parts that are going to be cut, the locations where it's going to cut, the tools that are required for the, for the job. So if somebody needs to reference something or something up, that you missed on the screen, you can always go back here to those fab sheets and, and check that. The next thing we got, it's going to do is it's going to tell us here on the screen what drills to, to load. And then you say, we have to say OK, that we loaded the, the drills once we open the door here and we can uh, change the drills on top, bottom and front. We have a little toolbox here with all the drills and the key chuck. It's okay. And now it's optimizing the job. <clears throat> and then I can pull a, a, a list of stock material that's required for this job. It shows me how many pieces are required. I can print out a, a little tag over here on our label printer. And it tells me exactly what parts to load onto the auto loader and get ready for cutting. So I'm going to walk over here. I'm going to start this. And we're going to load the auto loader. Then I just hit this continue button and it advances it one, one slot forward and I can just keep loading until the conveyor is full. Now that we have those two stock lengths it's asking for, I'm going to say okay, that the auto loader is ready. It's going to back up to the load position, the pusher. I also don't forget to start the saw. <laughs> the saw plate, it's going to get a little noisy. It's going to measure the part now. It's coming in. 
We're going to cut it with roller clamps. Taking a, a trim cut. This is one of the horizontals. Drilling some holes at the top. Tells the operator when the part is ready to be removed. I remove the part and I put a, a label part and move it over to the, to the rack with the table. Next part is ready. You also can see the, the automatic oiler when it's drilling. It, it oils the drill and the part. Doing through with the operator, to make sure the table is here and it pushes through. And it's gonna load the next part now. We measure the part. And start drilling again and go through the same process again. Cutting and drilling. Doing a push through, and now the frame that we created is ready. It creates a top label, 
I have a chip with the drop away in Stockton. And now the frame, the front frame is uh, finished.